And yeah. so, uh, yeah, basically, I just wanted to, to do a check in and, of course, see, you know, uh, how the conversations have been, how many appointments how, or how many phone consults you've had and then how many like in person listening appointments have been set as well. And so, um, and of course, like the quality of the conversations and stuff. Sure. Um, so everyone that has contacted has been on call. Uh, some of them have picked up, some of them have not. Um, one of them was just, I mean, something that came up yesterday was a very weird one and an interesting one. Uh, I didn't call the person, but of course, before any anytime someone uh, puts an address, I make sure I look at Paragon before I even call them just so that, you know, I'm prepared for the kind of property these guys have. So yeah. That property is actually pending right now. And I'm pretty sure this guy who wants, who requested a appraisal or evaluation is buying that property because the number is from Toronto. Oh, okay. It's an interesting one. Something. I was like, that, you, that's a smart way to find out if you're paying the right amount for a property or not. The property is listed. It's pending right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, well, that's it's different, <laughs> but cool. Um, that's okay. Other than that, no, um, I'm so far happy with it. Uh, calls being done. There are two in-person appointments done. I'm actually working with uh, one of them, wherein uh, he needs. He doesn't have the best credit score. He doesn't have best scenario in terms of his finances and whatnot but he wants to buy another house sell this house and buy another one um so i'm working with a couple of uh, different mortgage brokers to see who can help them with it okay Once we have that approval for this guy where you know he could buy another house um he'll be able to list his house okay oh wow that's awesome perfect yeah. and then uh, the other okay. point was an old gentleman he was like, you know what, yeah, this is what the house is like. I told him, you know, what he needs to do to bring up the value of his house, what he wants. Um, he's a no again. As I said, he's uh, probably in his mid 70s to late 70s. Uh, could barely walk. Mm. Uh, um, again, the house wasn't a mess. It's, 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 it was scattered. It was yeah. filled with stuff that his kids didn't want and want were our are using house as a dumping ground so i told him you know what best way to you for you to go about is first of all whatever you don't need get rid of it even if i bring a client off market they will not give you the price you want just because i don't see the space that there is in this house it's 1100 square feet uh corner townhouse but i don't see that space because of all the junk that there is in your house so give him a bit of some consultation and he's like you know what yeah, i'm going to start doing that paint a few things, fix up things, uh, and then I'll be in touch. Yep, I'll give you a call about a month or so back. Um, another older gentleman who has completely, well, he's in the middle of the renovation. He didn't invite me over, but it, I've been, um, I've, uh, you could see the text chats with him, wherein once the interest rate drops a bit, he will then list his house. He's finishing his renovations. Mm -hmm. uh, Again, an older gentleman. No, no. So he's doing that. Other than that, others have been uh, so basically three contacts. Others not so much, but I think I mean knowing how the the system works. Uh, in what ten or fifteen order leads I have three is a pretty good significant number wherein you are able to contact these people, um, get to meet two of them, and one is on board practically if we can figure out his finances mm. so nope i am so far happy with what i'm seeing uh 